Hello and welcome to my extreme declutter. We are once again getting rid of all kinds of things. Today about 95% of it was donations, which always feels so good. This was a much overdue project for me and we still have a ways to go. So if you enjoy decluttering and want to watch me declutter my entire house, there's so much more where this came from. So be sure to subscribe for a new video every week. Today we are working on the living room first. We just did a big project in here building our beautiful new fireplace, but what you didn't see in that video was all the toys that I pushed to the side out of view and today we need to go through them. We've been using the shelves that line our living room as like a makeshift toy storage toy rotation system, but that ends today. We have storage in our new fireplace, so I wanted to take everything down off those shelves and take every single toy we had in here out of wherever it was and really go through it all, put pieces back together that got mixed up, throw out anything broken, and put aside what we no longer need for donations. Now before you come at me for how many toys we have, full disclaimer, I did not buy most of these. My kids have birthdays, they have Christmas, they have grandparents that like to spoil them. We've also kept all our toys from when our oldest was a baby, so yes, there's a lot of toys here for the baby. I'm not denying that, but we're tackling it and it's all going to be okay. I feel like ever since I turned 30, I will just get hurt all the time for no reason. And this was one of those times I was reaching up to grab all these toys off the shelf and I felt something pinch in my back and then it hurt the rest of the entire day. Before we go through this pile here, my ambition was already struggling, so I wanted to take a break to get myself ready for the day. I feel like I've heard other moms say this as well, but doing my makeup makes me feel productive. It gives me a burst of energy. I can't explain it, but it's always been that way for me. I am so excited to partner with Merit for this video. Literally a dream. They're my favorite makeup brand. Merit is a minimalist beauty brand. They create products that are safe for the body, skin, and planet. First off, I used the minimalist, which can be used as both a foundation and concealer in one, and I'm blending everything out with their brush number one blending brush, which I love because the bristles are densely packed so it makes blending effortless and none of the product gets stuck between the bristles. I'm also using their bronze balm for a little bit of contouring and their flush balm in the shade Beverly Hills. I am in love with that color. I have super pale skin and my undertones are kind of tricky but this color complements my skin tone so well and looks so natural and dewy. I remember when I first tried this a couple of months ago and I shared it over on my Instagram stories and so many of you told me that the Merit Flush Balm was your all-time favorite blush as well. I literally use this every single day. It's the best. I'm also going to use their Day Glow Highlighting Balm for some glow and then today I'm doing a little eyeshadow as well. Merit recently launched their Solo Shadows along with their brush number two Dual Ended Brush. The shade range for these shadows is perfect. They have four neutrals meant to complement your shade of the minimalist, but they also have four wearable colors like warm green and a classic navy. I love that these shadows actually have peptides in them to help reduce the appearance of fine lines. You can apply them with your finger or the brush. I like the brush personally because I feel like it diffuses the color perfectly and the tapered end is perfect for applying along your lash line. When you place your first order with Merit, you receive their signature bag, which is honestly crucial for me. I love that all my makeup fits into the bag and I can take it with me anywhere. All of Merit's products are formulated with skin loving ingredients that will not clog your pores and work for everyone whether you have dry oily or acne prone skin and once again every first order with merit ships with merit signature bag and all orders over 40 dollars get free shipping shop merit at the link in my description and thank you so much to merit for sponsoring today's video I have this bad habit and I'm sure some of you are guilty of this too. So again, do not come at me, but sometimes I declutter something and it sits around my house for weeks and I eventually just put it back where I got it from because I've come to accept that I don't have what it takes to get it to where it needs to be to be donated. We've all done it, I'm sure. So if you're looking at this pile and thinking to yourself, 
didn't she declutter that in a previous video? Yeah, I probably did and it never actually made its way out of my house. So my best advice if you're trying to declutter a space is to make sure you do it on a day where you're mentally prepared to finish the entire job. You have to get this stuff out of your house on the same day and I don't mean driving around with it all in your trunk. Get it to the donation center and get it out or you will probably end up doing what I tend to do and accept that the useless clutter is just a part of you and nobody wants that. It might look like I'm just kind of shuffling things around here, but I was trying to put everything into categories just to make going through all of this easier on myself and get all the toys back together, like anything that was missing pieces, trying to find those missing pieces. The laundry basket you can see on the left there is everything I was planning to donate. So like I was saying earlier, we built this beautiful new fireplace that I'm so proud of. And if you missed that video, I'll have it linked in the cards right here. I'm just so excited about it. It turned out amazing. So proud of us. But anyway, we have this storage down here now. So I am vacuuming it out. And then of course my vacuum died because, you know, why wouldn't I charge it before I started filming? So I had to grab my broom to finish up the job. But there was all kinds of like sawdust and stuff in there. So I'm cleaning that out. And then I'm going to use this as our storage going forward. So things like board games will go in here because those are kind of dangerous for the baby. They have small pieces and he loves to put anything and everything in his mouth that's not food. And then I'm going to use the remaining space as my toy rotation area. So I'll just store all the toys that he's not currently playing with. And then when I'm ready to switch them out, I can put all the current toys that are out into the storage unit and pull everything else out. I'm sure you guys know what a toy rotation system is, but in case you don't, it's like a quick explanation. So now I am putting all the other toys wherever I want them to go. So I'm planning to use this white toy box that Sutton got for Christmas to store a couple of things. I did not want it to be full by any means, so I just put a few things in there, but first I'm cleaning it out because it was full of dust and cat fur and crumbs and who knows what else. And of course, since my vacuum was dead, I could not vacuum out all of that. So I had to use like a dusting cloth and then I went in with just an e-cloth to wipe everything down. But these are the few toys that I decided to put in there. I really wanted it to be a small selection because again, I'm trying to do the toy rotation system. So I'm only leaving out a limited number of toys that are available to the baby and hoping that it helps him just to play a little bit better and be a little bit more content with what he has. And every fool I'll try to be like There are some bookshelves on the side of that toy chest, so I'm picking a couple of books to leave out in the bookshelf, and then the other ones I'm going to put away in Sutton's room, and we're actually going to go through all of them later, because I know I've said so many times I don't think you can have enough books, but guess what? We have too many books, so we're going to go through those in a little bit. This piece of furniture right here we are trying to sell, so I emptied it out and then I wiped it down and I'm just moving it kind of out of the way to this back wall here. And now that I have it there, I feel like at some point I do want to get some sort of storage for over there. I love the idea of getting some sort of tall piece of furniture that has glass doors, 
but with kids, I don't think that's a good idea. So I need to keep brainstorming and think of what I could maybe put there that would add some functional storage for us and look nice. I think at some point down the road, we would also like to potentially sell our couch and get something else. We'll see, but we would like to put the rug in the center of the room and have a couch on one side and then have two armchairs on the other side and a coffee table in the center. That's just not in the budget right now, but figured I'd throw that out there while I am mopping the floors since a lot of you said that on my living room makeover that I should do something like that. But these are the toys that I left out. We've got a couple of things in his toy chest. We have the magnet tiles out. He absolutely loves those. And then this small selection of toys near the couch. These are some of his all-time favorites. And yes, I am missing so many pieces. It's so frustrating. I feel like I can never find them all. Now this is super random, but if you don't follow me over on Instagram, I've been posting a ton of reels lately. So I made this pumpkin in one reel and then I also did another craft with Sutton where I made a little sign that says trick or treat, smell my feet. Anyway, I'm having so much fun making my reels over there and it's very different content than what you would see over here on my YouTube. So if you don't already follow me, I would love for you to come find me. My Instagram is always like in the corner of the screen and also in the description. But now I'm quickly taking out my trash. Some of you guys were wondering what I did with the trash bin when I did this little wall over here and the trash is still there. We don't really have a choice. We don't have anywhere else to put it that it's out of the way. So unfortunately it still has to go against this wall, but I don't really feel like it's that bad. But now we are very quickly going through everything that was out on our kitchen island. This is a constant clutter zone for us. It's just a clutter magnet. So I wanted to get everything put away really quickly, but not spend too much time on it here for you guys. So I sped this way up. I had a couple other little tidying projects to do in the kitchen, so I'm just cleaning off Sutton's high chair. I noticed that the cats needed some water in their bowl, so I went ahead and filled that for them. And then I'm also going to clean off the fridge and get all the magnets put away that the baby had put all over the fridge. Now, before we get back to the decluttering, I wanted to quickly just do a little vacuum mop on my floors out here. I felt like there were crumbs everywhere and it was really bothering me. So I pulled out my tin co to get that done. Anytime I show my kitchen, living area, and dining room in a video, I get a comment telling me my house is not small and I need to stop calling it small. But this space in our home is actually like the biggest space of our entire house. It takes up, I want to say like 70% of it. Our bedrooms are tiny. They're like the size of closets for most people these days. And our bathroom is super, super tiny and cramped. So we do have a small house. It's just a little bit deceiving because our living spaces are so large relative to the rest of the house. The next room that I want to take care of is Sutton's room. There was so much clutter collected in here. I say this every single time I come in his room on a video, but his room is the hardest room for me to keep up with because typically the only time I can get anything done is when he's napping. So it's impossible for me to work on his room when he's asleep in there. But he was at daycare this day. He goes one day a week and it's been awesome. I'm able to get so much done on that one day, get my work done. And then I feel like I can just focus on him and being a mom. The rest of the week it's been awesome for everybody but what i'm doing here is picking up every single thing off the floor because i didn't want to keep bending over to have to go through everything it's just easier for me to put it up on a higher surface and then go through all of it at the same time some of this was trash and then some of this was stuff that just didn't belong in his room or just didn't belong where it was. So I'm just going through all of this random junk here and getting it back where it goes or throwing it away if that's what I need to do. I feel like in Sutton's room, his 
changing table tends to be the clutter magnet of the room. I don't know why things just get thrown onto the changing table and into these drawers and then it ends up being a cluttered mess and I can't find what I'm looking for when I need it. I actually found my phone charger while I was filming this. I thought that I left it at the beach. We had recently gone on like a week weekend vacation down Cape Cod and I thought I left my charger there but turns out it was in Sutton's room the entire time so I spent money on a new charger when I did not need to so this was definitely a much needed decluttering project. A lot of the stuff that was in this drawer was things that I used when Sutton was a newborn and we just don't need them anymore so I was going through and getting all that stuff out. A lot of it was trash because obviously I'm not going to donate old used pacifiers and things like that. This bag here was all trash. A lot of it like old used pacifiers like I said or there was broken nail clippers and things like that so that whole bag was just everything that I ended up throwing away and then here we are going through all of his laundry. I'm gonna be honest here, I do not always fold my kids' laundry. Sometimes I just put it into organized piles by category and I just throw it into the drawer. Sometimes I end up going back in and folding it later, but truthfully, I don't really care all the time. Sometimes I want it to look beautiful and aesthetic and sometimes I just want their clothes to be where it's supposed to be and easy to grab and this was one of those days. So I'm just putting everything into categories to just get this done as quickly as possible. The only thing that I don't skimp out on here so to speak is hanging up his shirts I've been hanging his shirts for the last couple of months and that has been awesome just being able to see what he has and not having to fold them I so much prefer being able to hang stuff I haven't noticed any issues with my kids clothes wrinkling up from not folding them and just throwing them into the drawers but if I did happen to notice that I have a hand steamer that I'm sure I could use and I could fix it right up with no problem. It would take me like two minutes. So it's really not something that I worry about. But again, I don't always do this. Sometimes I fold it, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on the day. Where we can hide our space. Forget the world aside. Just for a while, some way we will be fine. Say just you and I always I'll wait for us to Like I was saying earlier, I used to always say that I don't think you can have too many books, but we definitely, right now, we have too many books. There's a lot that we're not reading that I can't see us reading, so I just went through all the books to find any that I just don't think that either of my kids are going to be interested in. I kept anything that had like a handwritten personal note in it from family because that stuff is just sentimental to me. I have a lot of things that were from Carson's baby shower that I was gifted and family put in special notes for him. So again, I kept those, but I did get rid of any duplicates or anything that my kids aren't interested in reading and I can't see us reading in the future. Things. One 
one of my many skills I'm making things up All in my mind Cause I analyze their body language I hear every change in their tone Maybe they hate me Somehow I play me My mama said It's just the weight of the world It's not personal, it's just how it works Don't be angry for too long, we'll get burned Cause that's just the weight of the world And these are all the books that I decided to go ahead and donate And here we have another toy drawer that was just full of stuff that we don't need and things that were thrown in here that don't belong. So I'm taking most things out of here and going through it all. I also wanted to vacuum it out a little bit. It was once again, a little bit dusty. So I'm just keeping the things that I think Sutton would still be interested in, but anything else I'm going to go ahead and get rid of. I have a really hard time getting rid of the baby things because while I'm 99% sure that we're never having another baby, there's always that 1% chance it tells me not to get rid of things, but I've kind of just come to accept that if we did decide down the line to have another one, we'd probably just have to buy some more toys and it's not the end of the world, but we just don't have the space to store all of this and I'm sure there are other kids and babies out there who would enjoy and appreciate these toys a lot more than we do. This laundry basket has been sitting on my bedroom floor for probably a month and it's full of random clutter that I threw in here, didn't know where to put it, and needed to go through. So we're finally taking care of that today. This is something that I do way more than I'd like to admit where I just kind of fill a bin with random stuff and I don't go through it and it just sits there. So this felt really good to get done and I had some more things in here to throw into our donation bin. I had some things that just needed to be thrown away and then I had some things that just needed to be put back where they belong. Once we finished going through this bin, I loaded up my car and headed to the donation center and got all this clutter out of our lives. My trunk was completely full and I felt so good. I hope this video gives you some motivation to declutter a space in your home. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you again next week. You like the tail of a dog. I don't get no sleep when we kiss in the dark like we do. I just love the way it feels. Yeah, I know it's bad, but I can't resist When I look in your eyes, I do